All right, hello guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about an upcoming new winter storm. This isn't a named one, but this is gonna be for the Northwestern United States, as well as the Rockies and some of the North Central United States. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now let's get right into things. We're going to be looking at our future cast radar. Now, the greens, yellows, and reds are obviously rain. And then snow is going to be indicated by the grays, whites, and the light blues or like turquoise color. Now, that turquoise color is where it's really heavy snow. The white is also moderate to heavy snow. And then when it, where it's more kind of dark gray and gray, that's where we're looking at light snow. So just keep that in mind. And obviously with rain, you guys know how the, the greens, yellows, and oranges work. <clears throat> so now we're looking at 7 a.m. mountain time here, and you can see there is some snow going on for some of the central south regions of uh, Washington state, as well as a lot of the western or eastern regions of Oregon there as well. We have some heavier rains along the coast of northern California, Oregon, and Washington as well. We're seeing some snow showers start up for the mountains out there though. The reason I'm using mountain time is because of most of this video I am going to be using mountain time because most of the impacts are going to be felt in the mountains. I'm pretty sure you guys that live on the west coast know how to translate it, but it's, but it's a one hour difference. So for Seattle, all of these areas in Washington, Oregon, and California, it's going to be one hour earlier than what I'm saying for you, I believe. So if I say 7 a.m., it's actually 6 a.m. where you're at. Okay, now to get that out of the way, now we're looking at uh, 10 a.m. here, and you can see snow is pretty much taken over Idaho. We see a lot of the mountains in Washington and Oregon still receiving moderate to heavy snow, but we're seeing a lot of moderate to heavy snow in northern Nevada, areas in Idaho, and it's starting to make its way into Montana, Wyoming, and a little bit of Utah there as well by this time at 10 a.m., to uh today so which is almost now by the way i want to mention that's like pretty much now now we're looking at 4 p.m today and you can see that we've seen moderate to heavy snow still around in portions of idaho and it's starting to make its way into more of montana more of idaho or sorry more of montana more of wyoming and more of utah still we're seeing it for the mountains of oregon and washington but it's probably dying down by this point um now, by, this is going to be 10 p.m. tonight, mountain time, we see that it's getting colder, obviously, as it's nighttime, so we're seeing more widespread snow for Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and now Colorado as well. By the way, at the end of this video, or towards the end of this video, I am going to have a snowfall forecast, so you're going to be able to see what the total snowfall by the time it's all said and done is going to be as well, so that's going to be cool and probably beneficial to see, obviously. I didn't mention that before, but yeah. Now, let's move on to 4 a.m. tomorrow, and you can see it's kind of lightened up. We're seeing less of these blues, and really it's just a little bit of showers going on for the West Coast by this point. But for Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, we're seeing, again, less of those blues, more of the whites and grays going on. Uh, but nevertheless, moderate to heavy snow in some areas, just not quite as widespread anymore. Let's move on to 10 p.m. tomorrow night, and you can see some of those blues are reappearing for more eastern Wyoming regions there, and kind of north-central Wyoming as well, south-central Montana, uh, and then a lot of the western regions of the Dakotas as well, right there on the border near Buffalo, South Dakota, we're seeing heavy snowfall by this point. Bismarck, you're still in rain, and it's heavy rain at this point, so heavy precipitation nevertheless. Not that you guys need any more precipitation, as you guys saw an extreme amount of precipitation not too long ago, but you're going to be seeing it most likely. Rapid City, probably a mix by this point. Casper, a mix. Buffalo, uh, Buffalo, Wyoming. Okay, so there's Buffalo, Wyoming, and a Buffalo, North Dakota. Buffalo, Wyoming, you're probably snow, but maybe mixing at this point, as well as Idaho Falls. Now, looking at 6 p.m., or sorry, this is going to be 4 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, we're seeing a lot of mixing issues there in central North Dakota and South Dakota. So it's probably a mix by this point. But if it is all snow, if it's a little bit colder than expected, we're seeing heavy snow at this point, 4 p.m. tomorrow for Bismarck. Bismarck's definitely a mix, I would say. Probably sleet at best if you're hoping for snow. It's sleet at best. Actually, I doubt you're hoping for snow after the blizzard you guys just had. So probably sleet at worst, maybe heavy snow trying to mix in at times. Rapid City are a pretty good mix at this point. Uh, so let's move on to 
This is going to be 10 p.m. tomorrow night, and we're seeing snow showers re-enter Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado as our next system is going to move in, and we're really seeing only mixing, mixing, hardly mixing for the Dakotas at this point. I would say you're probably all rain by the time we're at 10 p.m. tomorrow. As it moves further and further east, it's going to get a little bit warmer, and it's going to be mostly a rain event, maybe some sleet or snow mixing in at times, but I would say hardly. But for the most part, we're going to have snow showers re-entering Washington, Idaho, Montana, uh, Wyoming, and Colorado. That's going to be our next system that's going to come in after this, and it's not going to be quite as major of a system as our one that we just looked at before this, but there is going to be a pretty minor for you guys. It would be considered a moderate or major event for the East Coast, but for you guys, it's going to be a pretty minor event coming in after the 21st. Let's move on to 4 a.m. on Monday, and you can see there's still snow showers all over the place, and it's completely all rain for the Dakotas, Minnesota, that storm that's more out east by this point that was our major winter storm. Now, the interesting thing is this going to this is going to unleash a lot of cold for the east in central United States. By the time we're at the 23rd, you can see we're going to be dealing with below average temperatures from the Dakotas down through Minnesota and all the way down into the Gulf states. The east coast, the the extreme east coast is still above average temperatures by this point. But for the most part, we're going to have below average temperatures for the Great Lakes, Gulf States, Central United States, and North Central United States. Uh, by the 24th, we have really cold temperatures entering the North Central United States as well as the Rockies again, as we're probably going to be dealing with another winter storm out there in the Rockies. Uh, and by the 25th, you can see we have really cold de temperatures dipping down into Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, as well as New Mexico here in those pinks. That's indicating extremely far below average temperatures. Uh, and by the 31st, here's the look. So this is just going to help us start getting the cold, the really cold temperatures to really enter the eastern United States and central United States. And we're going to be dealing with those really just to the just to the east of the Rockies. We're going to be dealing with far below average temperatures, maybe 12 to 28 degrees below average Celsius, which is extremely far below average, by the way. Uh, and then just south of the Great Lakes, all the way to the East Coast, we're going to be dealing with 4 to 12 degrees below average Celsius. So this is going to really help unleash the really cold pattern for the end of October. And the beginning of November is going to be a very, very similar pattern. Now, your total snowfall for this storm, uh, you can see my bar at the top. And we're looking, I hope you guys like this version of the snowfall forecast, by the way. This is on the actual WSV3 map. So this is kind of the radar product I was just using and we're able to see our total snowfall and I have my bar at the top as well. So in those kind of transparent white colors and into the white colors, that's where we're dealing with a dusting to three inches of snow. In the more transparent white areas, that's where we're dealing with a dusting or not any accumulation at all. So you can see a lot of that in Oregon there as well as some regions surrounding the Rockies in Colorado and Wyoming, areas like that. Where it becomes a more solid white, that's where we're looking at an inch to three inches of snow. Uh, and then in our lightest shade of blue there, we're dealing with three to six inches of snow. And then in our medium shade of blue, we're dealing with six to ten inches of snow. It's really close together here, so it's really hard to, pay, to see it. But you kind of, if you look close, you can pretty much see it. And then for our darkest shade of blue, that's almost a black color. That's ten to fifteen inches of snow. And then in the purple, we're looking at... 15 to 20 inches of snow. So by the time we're getting to the purple color, we're looking at already just high elevation areas receiving this much snowfall. So probably not a lot of people are going to be dealing with this, but it is on the map. So I'm mentioning it. Then also in our pink color, we're looking at 20 to 30 inches of snow. So you can see there is a few of those isolated throughout the map on extreme mountaintops once again. And then right under where it says Rexburg, I don't know if that's Idaho or Wyoming, where it says Rexburg, but a little bit just to the east of the Wyoming Idaho border we do see a little bit of red and that's where we're expecting 30 to 48 inches of snow for some of those mountaintops so extreme snowfall this is going to be a pretty snowy snowstorm this is why I'm calling it a major snowstorm because some areas are going to be receiving over uh, you know over a foot of snow and maybe even over two feet of snow here so this is considered to me at least a major snowstorm out there for the Rockies and we're already off to a very snowy start out west 
uh, for the month of September and October. We've been dealing with some snow. So we'll have to see how November goes. It's going to be very, very interesting. All I do know is that I think the cold is going to be entering the central and eastern United States by time we're in the first week of November. If that'll stick around, that's the question that remains. Anyway, guys, if you think this video is going to be useful or if you think your friends need to see it or family, make sure to share it to Facebook or private message it to them so that they can see this information because I know not a lot of like the weather channel and stuff. They're not really talking about this one because it's just, you know, oh, it's the Rockies. You know, they deal with this all the time, but I'm going to make sure to keep you guys informed with storms like this. So make sure uh, to share this with your friends if you think they need to know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.